So in the last video, we had set up the scale of our logo. Now let's go ahead and set up the bottom sheet that's going to slide in along with the logo. For that, in our app.js, below the logo, let's create a new animated dot view. Let's style that view by giving it a background color of white. And we also need to give it a height, which is going to be our screen height. Let's open up the sidebar and create a new file called constants.js. Here we'll set up a few constant values. Let's first import dimensions from React Native. And let's get the width and height. Then we'll say export const. Let's set up the screen height, which is going to be the height. Let's say export const screen width, which is going to be the width. And we'll also set up a few more constants, like the text input height, which is going to be 150. Let's duplicate that. We'll have the footer height, which is the footer at the bottom here, which is going to say, which will have some text at the bottom. For that, let's make that 70. And then we'll export const a login view height, which is the view that is going to be visible when the app first opens up. So it's a login view height, which will be equal to the text input height plus the footer height. Once we start building it out, they'll make more sense. Back to app.js here, let's import in the constants that we need. So we'll say import, we need the screen height and we need the login view height. From our constants file, and let's save that. Here for our height, let's set its height to the screen height, and let's save that. Let's reload the app. And as we see, we're getting a white screen which is covering our complete screen height. Now obviously we want this view to be moved to the bottom here, so that only the top portion, which is the login part of the view, is visible when the app first opens up. For that, we can try and transform this by saying transform, translate Y, and move it down by the screen height minus the login view height. So now we have only the login view portion visible to us. But we'll have to position this absolutely, otherwise it messes up our particular view on top. So let's get rid of this height from here, and instead let's pass in style sheet not absolute fill. That looks much better. Now it's time to animate this in. So what we want to do is we want to keep this at screen height when it first opens up. Then we want to move it to screen height minus the login view height. So here, let's say const, let's call it translate y is equal to, we'll interpolate over the scale animation. So we'll say interpolate, which we'll get from reanimated. We'll go over the scale animation. The input range is going to be from 0 to 1. As we know that it's animating from 0 to 1. And the output range is going to be from the screen height to the screen height minus the login view. And let's pass in that translate y here. So we can just delete that and save this. And there, if we reload our app, we can notice that as the icon scales in, our bottom view scales in as well. But if you remember, when we tap a button here, which is going to be our text input, we want this to scale again. But we already passed in a translate Y here. So how are we going to overwrite that? So we'll use a small trick over here. So let me just get rid of this translate Y for now. And let's save that and reload our app. So here in front, we have our login view, which is the complete screen height. We're going to split this into two parts. So let's just do that here. Let's pass in another animated dot view. Let's pass in a text inside it. And let's call it overlay BG. Let's style it. Give it a height, which is equal to the login view height. Align the items to the center, just so that we see the text in the center. And let's give it a background color, equal to the background color of our main view, which is this blue. Let's paste that in here. And let's save that. So there we're getting our overlay BG. I'm just going to position that absolutely for now. So we'll say position, absolute, give it a top of zero, a left of zero, and a right of zero. 
it should be at the same place. Next, below this animated view, we have our complete login view. So let's pass in another view. This view has our main login component. So we'll say animated.view, pass in a text, and this is the login view, giving it a height of login view height. And let's just align the items to the center. Right now, it's coming on top of the absolute view. So we'll just position it by giving it a transform, translate y, equal to the login view height. Let's also give this a border width of 1. So now what we're going to do is, when the app loads up, we want to move this particular login view on top of this overlay BG. So let's see how that's going to look. Let's give this login view a background color of white as well. And now let's change this translate Y to zero. There we see it moves up to the top. So basically what we're doing is when the app opens up, this is where the login view will be and then it'll move up. Let's move this complete view down so that you get a better understanding. So here we had where we had passed in our translate Y. Let's pass that in again, transform, translate Y. Let's set that to the screen height minus the login view height. As you can see, we're getting our overlay BG. We can also give the overlay BG a border width. So we'll say border width of one. And now if we toggle this translate Y to zero, it comes up on top of that overlay BG. That makes our outer view free which we can animate when we tap the text input in our login view. So we have two different translate Y values available. One is for the inner login view and one is for the outer login view. So let's go ahead and set those up. The first thing would be our inner login view. So I'm going to come here, just comment out the translate Y for now, create a new value called inner login Y, interpolate over the scale animation, The input range is going to be the same from zero to one. And the output range is going to be, is going to be the login view height. That means it's going to move down by this particular height. And then it's going to animate up to zero, which is the current position it's at. Now let's come down to our inner login view. And let's transform this by saying translate Y and set that to the inner login Y. There we see our animation is working. We can get rid of this first transform that we passed in. And now in the last part, what we'll do is we'll set up this particular view component and then we'll animate the outer view to the top when the text input is clicked. 